Taoiseach, could I ask you if you were in any way uneasy, to say the least, when you moved on to the discussion on taxation? Uh, because I see from the communique uh, after the EU summit that measures to fight tax uh, evasion, uh, fraud, etc., uh, were discussed in order to protect revenues and ensure public confidence in the fairness and effectiveness of tax systems. Now, I leave the fraud aside for the moment, but um, can I ask you if you gave an explanation uh, in regard to the Irish tax system uh, and the fact that the evidence has piled up uh, to show that this state is used as a taxation haven by many multinational corporations. And can I put it to you that I'm not referring just to the uh, hearings in the US Senate, but the day before your summit, um, respected journalist Mark Hennessy, London editor of the Irish Times, pointed out how Marks and Spencers um, accounts for goods sold and handled in the United Kingdom, but accounts for them through Ireland to avail of the 12.5% tax rate, in other words, to save a significant tax from being paid in Britain. Um, what else could you refer to that as but the activities consistent with a tax haven. And can I further put it to you, uh, uh, Taoiseach, that um, this state also is a tax funnel in that you are a facilitator for transfusing revenues that are raised around the world, including the poorest countries, uh, through the tax mechanism of this state and onto places like Bermuda. Now, um, in, 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 in the case of, uh, of the Massive Apple Corporation, uh, for example, it's what's called the double Irish tax me mechanism enabled Apple to keep its international taxes to 3.2% of foreign profits in 2011, 2.2% in 2010, and single digits for the last half decade. That's from the New York Times. Now, can I ask you, in view of that, uh, uh, Thishuk, and the fact that as a result of the, these mechanisms, the Apple Corporation is sitting on $100 billion in accumulated profits. Are you aware that development agencies and agencies like Christian Aid, for example, have studied this situation uh, quite deeply and very convincingly point out how this type of tax avoidance and minimization of tax with the help of the Irish taxation system is cheating people in the poorest countries on earth and other places of resources that should be going in to develop their societies. How do you stand over that uh, activity which is immoral by any standards? And what did you say uh, in, 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 in the uh, EU summit, or did you, in explanation of, of, of these. And I, I'm, I'm not asking you to uh, just contradict some of the specifics that were made, allegations were made in, in the Senate about a 2% deal, which very possibly is not correct. But the substance is correct that the taxation mechanism, the Dublin Irish mechanism, etc., does facilitate a huge minimization of massive amounts of tax by these most powerful corporations and thereby cheating peoples all over the world and in this country of resources that should be going in to develop our society, create jobs, Thank you. create investment.
to put some of the 26 million tragically unemployed in the EU back to work. Asia. 